Salam sejahtera saya ucapkan kepada Wan Ida selaku pensyarah untuk subjek Principle of Marketing di bawah kod DPM 10013. Hari ini, saya dan ahli kumpulan saya akan membentangkan tajuk yang telah dipilih kami, iaitu produk Milo. Sebelum memulakan pembentangan, izinkan saya memperkenalkan diri saya. Nama saya Oivia Erenatasia Anajawan. Bagi pelajar yang memegang kad metrik 20 DPM 20F 1019. Untuk memulakan pembentangan, saya akan menjelaskan penerangan mengenai produk. Milo adalah jenama sejenis minuman tenusu berasaskan coklat dan mak yang dihasilkan oleh syarikat Nestle. Minuman ini diberi nama atlet Yunani kuno, iaitu Milon of Croton yang terkenal dengan kekuatan legenda. Maju cepat ke tahun 1934, semasa The Great Depression, di mana banyak kanak-kanak menderita diet dan kekurangan zat makanan. Jadi ini memberi inspirasi kepada saintis makanan Nestle Australia Thomas May untuk mengembangkan minuman mat coklat serbok yang dirancang untuk membantu membina tenaga mereka. Dan dalam semangat main toast Milo, muncul jenama dan minuman yang akhirnya menjadi terkenal di dunia. Ini telah terbukti bahawa Milo mempunyai 24 kilang di seluruh dunia dan menja- dan menjual lebih dari 40 negara dan rasa coklatnya yang unik sangat digemari oleh rakyat Malaysia dalam pelbagai generasi tidak kira tua dan muda. Milo telah menggunakan bahan semula jadi untuk menyehatkan dan menyeimbangkan nutrien yang diperlukan oleh semua orang. Selain itu, Milo juga mengambil berat tentang proses pembuatannya. Ini untuk memastikan bahawa Milo yang diterima dipenuhi dengan barang-barang yang baik. Milo telah berkembang di samping negara kita dan menjadi sebahagian daripada warisan sukan Malaysia selama lebih dari 60 tahun. Seterusnya, saya akan menjelaskan ciri-ciri Milo. Ciri-ciri Milo juga boleh dikaitkan dengan kos. Bukan itu sahaja, reka bentuk Milo juga cukup menarik untuk kanak-kanak kerana gambar depan pada paket Milo adalah orang yang digambarkan berlari dengan bola sepak di kakinya. Ini pada dasarnya menggambarkan konsep bahawa Milo memberikan tenaga kepada semua orang yang membantunya berlari dan bermain bola sepak dengan penuh semangat. Milo adalah minuman serbuk mat yang kaya dengan nutrien yang memberi kanak-kanak yang memerlukan dorongan tenaga berkhasiat yang mereka perlukan pada hari tersebut. Milo juga membantu memberikan anda tenaga untuk menjalani sepanjang hari. Pengambilan Milo yang dipadankan dengan amalan diet harian dan gaya hidup aktif akan memberikan faedah keseluruhan dalam kehidupan seharian. Bukan itu saja, Milo juga memberikan tenaga kerana kalori ini berasal dari remuan yang berbeza dari Milo. Terutamanya ekstrak mat, susu skim, minyak sawit dan gula. Jika dimakan secara sederhana sebagai sebahagian daripada diet seimbang, Melo memberikan tenaga yang diperlukan untuk gaya hidup yang aktif dan akan memahatikan pegemukan. Seterusnya, serbuk Melo adalah seimbang dari segi nutrien memberikan nisbah protein, karbohidrat dan lemak yang tepat. Enam kelas asas nutrien adalah makanan adalah karbohidrat, lemak, protein, vitamin, mineral dan air. Segelas Melo uh, minuman mengandungi nutrien ini. Jadi, protein adalah salah satu makronutrien bersama dengan karbohidrat dan lemak yang penting untuk membina dan memperbaiki tisu badan. Seterusnya, saya akan menjelaskan fungsi Milo. Milo yang terbuat daripada empat bahan sederhana, iaitu susu tepung, bat mat, gula dan koko. Milo juga mengandungi 8 vitamin dan mineral penting. Bukan itu sahaja, Melo ditambahkan ke susu panas atau sejuk untuk memberikan rasa coklat mat dan tekstur tambahan. Apabila digabungkan dengan susu sejuk, 
Ia mengekakan teks tokasa dari keadaan mentahnya. Melo juga boleh diadokkan ke dalam susu kukus atau air panas untuk menghasilkan sesuatu yang serupa dengan coklat panas atau koko. Gula juga dapat ditambahkan ke minuman Milo. Tetapi, banyak orang menikmatinya tanpa penambahan pemanis. Kemungkinan penggunaan lain untuk membuat secawa Milo sejuk biasa dan gelombang mikro selama kira-kira 40 hingga 60 saat. Ini memberikan minuman Milo penutup biskut di atas. Penggunaan lain yang popular ialah menabokannya pada ice cream, terutamanya ice cream vanila dan Milo, juga boleh ditabokkan pada bijiran sarapan. Di samping itu, saya akan menjelaskan jenama Milo. Seperti yang kita dapat lihat, logo Milo ada di sebelah kiri halaman. Pada dasarnya, ditulis Melo dengan huruf tebal besar yang konsisten dengan gaya dan jelas dapat dibezakan. Logo Melo pertama dimulakan dengan reka bentuk sederhana yang kelihatan agak serupa dengan yang ada sekarang. Tetapi, kerana Melo selalu menjadi sebahagian daripada warisan sukan selama lebih dari 60 tahun, Melo berusaha merancang logo yang memberi inspirasi kepada rakyat Malaysia setiap hari. Logo Melo yang dapat kita lihat pada hari ini iaitu diilhamkan oleh garisan penamat yang akan dilalui oleh setiap atlet yang mewakili kejayaan dan pencapaian. Penggunaan logo untuk syarikat sangat penting kerana dapat menanam imej positif untuk industri dan produk. Hal ini serupa dengan syarikat industri Nestle dan produk Melo yang mereka hasilkan. Tagline Melo sejuk dan sedap, tulisan ini digunakan berwarna coklat untuk menyampaikan maksud bahawa tekstur air Milo berwarna coklat. Seterusnya, penggunaan huruf miring bertujuan untuk menarik minat pembaca serta mempengaruhi mereka untuk membuat pembelian. Selain itu, huruf tebal juga memudahkan pengguna sasaran untuk membacanya. Itu wajar kerana Milo menekankan kepada penonton bahawa produk ini adalah produk yang terbaik dan paling berhasiat. Penggunaan huruf sangat penting dalam produk atau jenama di mana ia mampu memberi kesan emosi kepada orang ramai. Dan ini lebih mudah dan membantu penonton dalam mengenali jenama. Oleh itu, gambar mempunyai tujuan untuk menarik, meyakinkan, memikat dan menguasai penonton. Melalui simbol mitologi moden yang direkam melalui logo industri, secara tidak langsung akan mempengaruhi pemikiran pengguna. Melo menggunakan warna hijau sebagai warna tema untuk produk dan kemasan produk di mana ia cuba menyampaikan makna bahawa produk Melo adalah produk yang sehat, semula jadi dan asli. Penggunaan hijau juga dikaitkan dengan penglibatan Nestle dalam bidang persekitaran yang merangkumi tiga bidang iaitu pemakanan, air dan pembangunan luar bandar. Seterusnya, saya akan menjelaskan jenis pembungkusan produk Milo. Secara khusus, terdapat tiga kategori pembungkusan. Kategori pertama ialah pembungkusan yang bersentuhan langsung dengan produk. Kategori kedua adalah pembungkusan yang mempunyai fungsi atau hubungan untuk menjaga kualiti produk. Ia mengandungi satu atau lebih pakej kategori pertama. Manakala, pembungkusan kategori ketiga adalah mengandungi Kategori pertama dan kedua Fungsi pembungkusan kategori ketiga adalah untuk pengedaran, koordinasi dan pelindungan semasa pengkomersialan produk Untuk pembungkusan produk Milo Active Go Ia menggunakan satu jenis pembungkusan yang merupakan kategori pembungkusan pertama Jenis pembungkusan ini bersentuhan langsung dengan sebok Milo Pembungkusan yang telah digunakan oleh Milo Active Go adalah kemasan uh, goose set bag yang terbuat daripada aluminium foil atau foil fleksibel. Jenis pembungkusan ini biasanya digunakan untuk bahan makanan, perisa, teh, kopi, sebok kokoh dan makanan kering. Manakala Jenis pelabelan terdapat pada produk Milo yang pertama iaitu 
nama atau keterangan makanan. Walaupun produk itu dilabelkan Milo, ia juga mengatakan minuman makanan tenaga. Ini bermaksud Milo mesti mengandungi beberapa bentuk tenaga. Ini benar kerana karbohidrat tinggi dengan lebih daripada 50% gula yang akan memberi tenaga kepada tubuh, namun hanya untuk jangka waktu yang singkat. Yang kedua pula, pelabelan peratusan. Pelabelan peratusan menunjukkan bahawa terdapat 16% bali malt dan 35% beras gandum atau bali. Selepas ini, ramuan lain tidak menunjukkan peratusan apa yang disertakan. Bahan-bahan ini termasuk pepeja susu, gula, koko, mineral, matodextrin, vitamin dan penggemosi. Yang ketiga pula, maklumat penarikan makanan. Semua keperluan yang diperlukan untuk maklumat penarikan makanan disediakan pada label. Iaitu terdapat nombor, laman web dan alamat untuk maklumat hubungan. Yang keempat pula iaitu tanda tarikh. Sebagai contoh, tin melo ditandakan dengan tarikh sebelum yang terbaik di bahagian bawah timah. Biasanya tidak sampai 18 bulan dari tarikh kemungkinan uh, pembeli tersebut membelinya. Tetapi, jika anda membaca cetakan halus pada timah itu, menyatakan bahawa sekali dibuka, kami mengesyorkan produk ini dimakan dalam masa 8 minggu. Yang kelima pula, label mesti mengatakan maklumat yang sebenarnya. Sebagai contoh, Melo mempunyai beberapa tuntutan iklan pada pelabelan. Semuanya benar tetapi ditulis dengan teliti kerana dibuat untuk menjadikan produk terdengar lebih baik tetapi sering mengelirukan. Dan yang seterusnya adalah terdapat gambar gandum di bahagian depan label yang dibenarkan kerana Melo mengandungi gandum. Yang terakhir adalah syarat kelayakan. Semua syarat pelabelan boleh dibaca dan berbeza dari latar belakang walaupun sebahagian penulisannya sangat kecil dan suka untuk dibaca. Akhir sekali, terdapat empat cerangan untuk meningkatkan produk ini iaitu memperbagaikan rasa lebih dalam satu produk dengan mengekalkan rasa aslinya. Contohnya, perisa coklat boleh dicampurkan dengan perisa vanila dan perisa strawberry boleh dicampurkan coklat dan banyak lagi. Lebih-lebih lagi pembungkusan produk perlu lebih kreatif untuk menarik banyak pembeli untuk membeli produk ini. Contohnya, perbaiki pembungkusan dengan menggantikan yang lama dengan menambahkan gambar yang menarik dengan menggunakan wajah atlet negara untuk menarik lebih ramai pelanggan. Yang terakhir, syarikat harus memberikan promosi setiap bulan untuk produk mereka sehingga produk tersebut habis dijual di pasaran. Itu sahaja daripada saya dan saya menyerahkan kepada pembentang yang seterusnya. Hi, my name is Monica Dot binti Andrew. My note metric is 20 dpm 20f1028. Today, Evelyn and I want to present pricing strategy. Pricing is one of the most important element of the marketing mix. As it is the only mix which generate a turnover for the organization. So, when Milo has decided the product price, then we choose a good pricing strategy that will, that will give them duration of price movement over the product life cycle. Milo need to aware about higher price. If they set higher price, they must produce a good quality of Milo. Besides, the competitor also will influence the pricing strategy. For example, if Milo introduce a new product the same with competitor, the price will be restricted and close to the price of competitors. Unless, nicely Milo can def differentiate and convince consumers that they can set the higher price for the product. Milo is using product line pricing, which is a product mix pricing strategy that use one product with barrier class distinction. A line can comprise related product of various size, types, colors, 
qualities or, or prices. This pricing process is evaluated through consumer value perception, production cost of our grade, other costs, and demand factors. For example, Milo was establishing a single price for all product in a product line, such as having a price 29 ringgit 90 cent for the higher price line of 2 kg of pack, 60 ringgit 90 cent for medium price line of 1 kg of pack, 8 ringgit 60 cent for lower price line for 400 grams of pack, and 4 ringgit 18 for lower price line of 200 grams of pack. My law contain many choices of chocolate drink with unique formula of ingredient for a singular can product. Product line pricing feature in the impact of a product price on demand for another product offered by that marketer. That's all from me. Good morning to our lecturer Maiden Ida and my fellow friends. My name is Evelyn C. John Ching. My metry number is 20DPM 20F1010. Today, I would like to present about the pricing strategy of Nextum Milo. Milo also adopts use bundle pricing strategy. When shops are lined up and sales volume are decreasing in their case, Milo increases its advertisement and use bundle pricing. They bring bundle pricing which increases their sale. For example, Bundle pricing helps differentiate Milo's product or competitor and leverage a potential customer's attention long enough to purchase the Milo products. Their pursuing a bundle pricing strategy involves lowering the price of a product, distributing coupons, or offering special subjects buy one get one free offers to increase the profit therefore discount and allowance pricing will be more frequently obtainable at supermarket hypermarket and convenience stores during the festival session or singer day promotion by offering products in bundle provides a customer might be perfectly happy to pay an all-in bundle price, yet be turned off by a laundry list of change that add up to the excess same price amount. Bundle pricing is an extremely beneficial way of selling products for both customers and retailers. It allows buyers to save them time looking all around the store for each product. When downright, bundle pricing strategy drives more sales and profit for the companies such as retailers will increase revenue and reach their key performance indicators KPIS, depending on their business goals. That's all from me. Thank you. I will pass to the next presenter. Next, I will give some suggestions for pricing strategies improvement. For the price, Milo should make a good pricing strategy. If they want to put a high price for the product, they must make sure that the quality and the quantity are suitable enough with the price. Other than that, they also can do the package which contain the chosen product in one page. And they will and then they will set the price for the pack in the moderate value. This is also known as Echo Pack. This pack is affordable whereas not only the high income person who are willing to buy it but People from low income are also able to buy. By doing so, consumer can make a good perception for the company who are concerned with the society. 
generally, we can conclude that Milo is not biased and are suitable for all level of person. That's all from me. Thank you. I will give to the next presenter to max next presentation. I am Emilia Sarah Clement and my metric number is 20 DPM 20 F1022. Today, I want to explain about the marketing channel of this Nestle Milo. The first one is definition place. Place relate to decision about the storing and transformating of product and also about selecting the product channel of distribution. This Nestle Milo define and design very strategic approve and practice for the storing and transforming for their product and establish organize and structure distribution and product channel concept and practice is effective inventory management in change the overall performance and save the cost of this nice little milo effective and efficient geographical based manufacture you need in change the productivities of the distribution network and a the concept cost effective in the term of distribute the product in the market target. And then we go through to the function of wholesaler and the retailers. Distribution channel that used by Milo is indirect distribution channel, which is content more intermediary level, not a direct channel business. A role play of my law in distribution channel is producer and they distribute product to wholesaler and retailers. Wholesaler including Tesco, Jesco, Giant, while the retailers including 99 Speedmart, 7-Eleven, KK Mart, Petrol Station and other small retailers. After they distribute their product to wholesaler and retailer, Wholesaler and retailer will sell the product, which is the Milo, to end user, which is customer. However, some retailer will buy Milo product with wholesaler because of the price more cheaper than they supply from Milo Malaysia. Therefore, example, the peppermint flavor Milo will distribute to wholesaler and retailers. This channel also have their own function, such as traditional function, which is contacting, promotion, negotiating, risk taking, logistical function, physical distributing, and the last one is grading and packaging. And then I will explain the direct marketing channel with this product, which is Nestle Milo. This Nestle Milo can use the social media network such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and so on as the currently ranked the most popular network to direct contact with the individual with targeting by creating a survey to get a feedback on their view on this product which is Milo. We can arrange people to do survey on the street. We have to face-to-face -face contact with the customer to ask them fill up their particular to the email or message them whenever uh, their uh, promotion is going on. In addition, we also can arrange people to give out flyer on the street and give sample of drink Milo drink to allow a customer to have a test of it and know the promotion that is ongoing. And then is indirect marketing channel. The indirect competitor are Milo, which are coca product by Nestle. They have to compete with different product, which are not coca product, and the target market is children, teenagers, but not a categories as elders. And then the type of channel intermediaries. In case of Nestle Milo, the intermediaries will be the physical distribution and service agencies. The one who is supplying raw material for the productions of Milo to Nestle Milo is known as intermediaries. Last but not least, channel intensity design decision. 
How vigorous distribute this product, which is this Milo, is the intensity of distribution. We had three choices. The first one is intensive distribution to distribute everywhere. Second is selecting distribution, limited number of sales outlets. The third is exclusive distribution, one outlet per area. In this relaunching, we had adopted intensive distribution. We are distributing this Milo at the big store and bakery and also giving it to our distributor. That's all for me for the marketing channel. Next, I will post this presentation for the next presenter. Hi, I am Candy Anadam and my metric card number is 20DPM20F125. I will continue my presentation with title of Integrated Marketing Communication IMC Strategies Used by Milo Products. Before entering, entering the description of Integrated Marketing Communication Strategy, I will first explain what is Integrated Marketing Communication communication strategy the integrated marketing communication strategy is the coordination and consolidation of our communication tool parts functions and resources within a company into a seamless program that maximize impact on user and other end users at minimal cost here i will describe the promotional mix tool and that milo product have used milo uses advertising to promote their products there are five types of advertising media used by milo first is television nestle apply this source for milo product which in the commercial break is about a boy or girl that are more energetic in their daily life if after they consume Milo. Also show in the commercial break is the boys parents provide Milo for their children and parents to buy this product. Second is printed media. Printed media includes newspapers, magazines as well as poster. Nestle normally promotes promote Milo in children magazine since they are the main target market for the product and Nestle also sponsors sport column in the newspaper. The advertising normally sport public figures such as Dato Nico and Navid in order to attract sports, sportsmen and children who are involved, involved in sport. Posters are usually distributed to our wholesalers and retailers who are selling, selling Milo which, is, which can help people to recognize the place that do sell Milo. Third is Internet. Milo have their own website which is www.milo.com and there are more than 100 countries are registered under this website. It is established so that consumer can easily find information about their particular product and also as a medium for consumer to leave their suggestion in order for Nestle to improve their product. Next is social media. Social media is advertising agency can help increase the online engagement of the Milo brand through a variety of platforms. The media will offer costume made service from each customer, ensuring the media will de develop strategies tailored to Milo's products. The use, the use of social platform is very important in marketing a new business or product, and managing, managing this well can provide greater exp exposure to uh, companies to target audience. Lastly, outdoor media. Nestle Milo is well known for their commitment and sponsorship effort for any sport event in Malaysia, especially for any primary and secondary school. Milo sponsors almost all types of sport events and Nestle also 
collaborate with Ministry of Sport and Yacht in order to organize, organize national and international sport event. They normally open a booth in every event they sponsor, they sponsor and giving out free Milo drinks. It is really effective, effective since it can instill relationship between product and consumers. In addition, Nestle Milo also uses uses public relation. Milo giving foundation help to open children through EIDHI organization. They are giving warranty on the sale of every Milo to ED organization. Nestle Milo also uses a marketing communication strategy. There is a push and pull strategy. They are using pull strategy, high spending on advertising and consumer promotion to build, build up consumer demand for a product. Next is using the method of sale promotion. The first sale promotion method is give with purchase. Free raya cards for any second purchase. If the customer buys sick their sick Milo, they will get three special edition card raya with different design and this promotion based on the period that have been that started. Next is buy me low 480 gram free 80 gram. This promotion is for customer that likes to save their money. This is because my loaves have make a promotion which is they will get free 80 gram with every purchase of Milo for 480 per gram pack. Then buy Milo 1 kg free 1 cam mark. This promotion second example on how Milo's promote their product. If the customer buy 1 kg pack Milo, they will get 1 charm mark. This kind of promotion will attract all the kids and even the older, older to buy it. After that, it, it's free one Milo sporty tumbler, tumbler with every purchase of Milo 1 kg pack. This promotion will attract sporty person to buy it. This is because the tumbler is easy to carry everywhere and it is very fit to sporty person to move a lot. Lastly, competition and price. This promotion attracts customer, customer to enter contests and win prize. The only way for them to participate this, in this contest is to buy Nestle Milo product for RM10 RM in one receipt. Then the custom, customer write the full name, my card number and email on the receipt. Next, customer can choose where they want to send it either, either via WhatsApp or post to PO box. The last one is I will explain suggestion for new promotion mix tools that can be Milo used. To make, to make Milo being, being well known all over the country, they should make a lot of promotions which is dissimilar with the promotion that they have done before. After we have been through the discussion, we have uh, agreed that Milo can wither their promotion by making a different packaging style. They should combine all their product in one pack that include mini pack of Milo powder, Milo energy bar, Milo nug nuggets and such much more. By doing this packaging, packaging, Milo can promote all the delicious product to the customer so that they are able to try all the product that produced by Milo. If they are, if they are interested with one or other product, for sure they will buy it. They will buy it, buy it again and again. This will increase the profit. Next. Milo needs to promote its products by creating coupon user. This coupon has a valid date. Until the valid day, the customer cannot use the coupon. 
with the coupon, customer can buy a carton of Milo drinking water at a cheap price. That, that's all for me. Thank you.